Welcome to the tutorial on relation between the joint and conditional entropies. Sometimes in the question paper you may find such questions. Prove the following identities. H of y comma x equal to h of x given y plus h of y. Similarly other two. To do the derivation these are the equations we should know. It is like a prerequisite. Log AB equal to log A plus B. And it is a joint entropy equation. And probability of Xi comma Yj is a probability of Yj given Xi plus probability of Xi. Similarly, it is a conditional entropy. H of Y given X equal to. Take this as equation as a number 3. And this is a joint probability probability of xi comma yj summation j range from 1 to m i'll get a probability of xi so these equations we should know to prove the identities we know that joint entropy h of x comma y equal to just now we have shown in the previous slide we also know that probability of xi comma yj is given by this equation now i'll fill this equation number 2 in the equation number 1 and I'll rewrite the equation number 1 as it is. Now let me start uh, this simply I'm filling in this position. I'll rewrite the equation number 1. Then h of x comma y equal to I'll get what I have done. Simply this I have written in the equation number 1. Whatever you are observing above this line. In all the slides is from the previous slide. Just for the reference we have kept in this slide. We know that log of AB equal to log A plus log B. Using that I am writing log of AB is a log A plus log B. Simply I am writing this as a A, this as a B. And we also know A into bracket B plus C equal to AB plus BC. Like that I will multiply this. This is a B plus C. This is a, a, a B plus A C. I am going to write in the next step. Probability of X I comma Y J. Simply I multiply these two. I return. Multiply this and this. I return. Take this as equation number 5. Multiplied. Kept. Multiplied. Kept. Now this is from the previous slide. We know that from the equation number 3, conditional entropy is given by this. Now, when you compare this equation with uh, what you have written part of the equation number 4, it is same. Hence, I can write this as a h of y given x. And remaining I have kept as it is in the equation number 5. This only I have changed as h of y given x. The remaining I have kept as it is. This is from the previous slide. We know that from equation number k, probability of xi comma yj equal to probability of xi when I take a summation j equal to 1 to m. When I fill it, so I'll get this I'm writing equal to pxi. Simply here I have kept probability of xi. Now this is nothing but what pi log pi. It is a h or entropy. Hence, h of x comma y equal to h of y given x plus h of x. Hence, it is proved. And by changing the x in y position or interchanging those two, I can prove h of y given x equal to h of x given y plus h of y. If x and y are statistically independent, then no doubt h of y given x will be h of y only. There is no dependency on x. And similarly, h of x given y equal to h of x because it doesn't depend on y. Now, it is proved that h of x comma y is equal to h of y given x plus h of x in the previous slide. Simply, I am replacing it by h of y because both are statistically independent. Hence. It is proved that the identities h of y given x equal to h of x 
given y plus h of y all these three are proved thanks for watching this video share this video if you like subscribe this channel thank you dhanyavada namaskara